You probably have tons of digital pictures on your phone, iPad, and computer, but how do you keep them organized and even preserve the physical photos and the memorabilia that you might want to? We have the photo nanny here helping us get organized and also helping us with the other areas of our digital life. Pavin, all right, so kids are back in school. They're coming home with a lot of school projects. So let's start with some of the physical things, the things that you want to keep down the road. I really recommend um, s simplifying your life, organizing your life, and if you really do want to move into digital, one of the main things is having a system. And so you could sort these by type, three-dimensional, and that sort of thing, and they take up all kinds of boxes and clutter. Right. Or you can digitize them, which could mean scanning them if they're flat or taking photographs. And once you do that, you can make oh, them any size you want. Really? So that giant lizard <laughs> goes into this book. Among all of his artwork, in this particular child's case, which is typical for a lot of kids, it, it ends up being boxes and boxes that take up a lot of closet space. You just don't need it. But if you, you wanted something else besides a book, you said you could also once do you have a digital, artwork. Yeah, and once you have a digital, you can do a lot of things. And again, wanting to just see that you can make it any size you want. You can put it in a book like this, you could make it into a card. It's some really great artwork for Christmas cards or anything else. So you've got a lot of options once you make it digital. So first things first, coming up with that system of taking the physical thing that you have and how you actually decide, okay, right. I'm gonna go digital, I'm gonna do it and let go of all of the and, hands on. And, and talking about a system, and many people will sort by child, they'll have a box by child, but then they may have another section that's done by chronological order or it's done by school grade. Those are one of those things that I wanna say be consistent Whatever you're doing, work it the same way each way. So if you have the physical things by child, then I want the digital things by child. So that's kind of like organizing in one place. Get it right. all on the same thing. Right. All on the same page. I really like to do all of my organizing in one place as far as digitally. And what I mean by that is on my computer in one place, whether it's my laptop or my desktop, I really don't want to spend a bunch of time on my phone, organizing on my phone. Uh, which is what I was doing yesterday on the plane, going, oh, delete, 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 delete. I had somebody tell me about, oh, well, maybe you should put all your stuff into Dropbox, or now you have Google Photo, or the iCloud, you know. Where do you store everything? Well, that's a good question. And <laughs> there's lots of options now, and they're, and they're very competitively priced, I would say. But the main thing is that, I, again, I want you to go one way, and I really don't want you to rely on those applications out on the cloud for the way you're going to organize, because things change. There's certainly websites that don't exist today that used to exist. So you make see sure it all you have time. a backup then on your home computer or an external hard drive. Right. I want you to organize it again, one place on your computer before you put it in the cloud. So when I'm doing that, of course, you know, when you're, you're putting things up, you know, you got to put a credit card down. Um, and I thought this was fantastic advice that you gave me in the break. Uh, make sure that you keep up with the credit card that's on there, that it doesn't expire. Right. There, I mean, there are people that, and, and one of my big things is I don't want you to rely on the cloud. I don't want you to rely on, on applications that are auto-upload in any form. I think they're great. Don't, I don't want to, to make light of that because they are great for mobility and sharing. They're not great to rely on as your backup. I want you, you to plug. Because you could lose everything, right? If your credit card it hits that expiration it's date. Happened. I have a client that lost bye -bye. everything. Lost everything oh. because their, their thing expired. So I want you to take your device, whether it's a phone, a camera, a computer, anything. I want you to physically back it up at your house to your computer and then back that up to at least two locations. So I have my main place, I put it on an external drive, and then I put it out mobily. I've got it in three different places. But all again, I'm managing it in the first place. I don't want to rely on anybody else. See, I'm sitting there going, okay, wait, I've got to have it here, I've got to have it here, I've got to have it there, you know, creating that system. But how do I avoid digital clutter to begin with? Well, I think a lot of it does have to do with the cloud and the application, as well as if you, I call it herding cats. Um, if, if you have a lot of family members and everybody's got their phones and everybody's got their iPads and they're taking things with cameras on a vacation, a lot of them are going to a cloud-based place and on your phone, you see that you have 10,000 photos as an example. You, you don't have 10,000. Guilty you, of that. You really, you really, they're not there. This is the problem. They're not really there. They're out in the cloud. So again, what do you actually have? And why I recommend that you plug your phone in, you download it, and you erase it from your phone. But is that going to erase it everywhere else, so too? I want to put it up there after I've organized it. So it would be in the cloud and then would be shared. But in other words, if I have it in my Photos app, that's just the camera roll, it means I haven't backed it up. It's a real, that's a good example of a system. If it's in my camera roll, I don't have it at home. 
because I'm going to come home, I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to download it, and I'm erasing. So now I know I've got it. And then I can put it in Dropbox or photo, wherever you want after the fact. It's more you being in control instead of an auto application. So put in a little bit of effort on the front side of it and then you won't live in, in a digital cluttered life. Right, it's well worth it. And also when you download, I don't want you to rename the files. Duplicate software is, exists out there for you to find duplicates, but it's all based at the present time on names. So if you go home and you're really diligent and you name all your pictures that this was Colorado 2016, <laughs> and then you did not erase your device, when you go plug it in and you uh -oh. say, I don't want the duplicates, <laughs> they're all coming back. I've seen clients that have them 10 times in 10 different locations with different names. Wow, thank you so much, so many great tips. And for more information on how to unclutter your digital life, check out photo-nanny.com.